డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ నిన్నటి క్లాస్లో కోఆర్డినేట్ జామెట్రీ టాపిక్కి సంబంధించి కానిక్ సెక్షన్లోని పారాబోలాలోని కొన్ని అంశాలు తెలుసుకున్నాం కదా మరి ఈరోజు ఎపిసోడ్లో కానిక్ సెక్షన్కు సంబంధించి షార్ట్ ఆన్సర్ క్వశ్చన్స్ మరియు వెరీ షార్ట్ ఆన్సర్స్ క్వశ్చన్స్ గురించి తెలుసుకుందాం మ్యాథ్స్ సబ్జెక్ట్ బోధనలో ఇరవై సంవత్సరాల అనుభవం కలిగిన టిఎస్ రవి గారు ఈ టాపిక్ గురించి వివరిస్తారు కేఏబీ టీవీ త్రూ ఇట్స్ ఈ క్లాసెస్ ఆఫరింగ్ యూ ఎ వెరైటీ ఆఫ్ ప్రోగ్రామ్స్ సో దట్ యూ ఆర్ వెరీ వెచ్ వెల్ ఎక్విప్డ్ యువర్ ఎగ్జామ్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ పార్ట్ ఇన్ దిస్ వే వీ ఆర్ డూయింగ్ ఆల్ ద లెసన్స్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్ ఇన్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఆల్రెడీ డన్ సర్కిల్స్ అండ్ స్టార్టెడ్ విత్ కానిక్ సెక్షన్స్ అండ్ ఇన్ కానిక్ సెక్షన్స్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టేకన్ అప్ పెరాబలా ellipse and hyperbola we have taken these three in my earlier lessons i mixed up all of these things and gave you important concepts because the easiest thing is you can prepare all these three lessons together because uh, the some of the concepts are same for all of these three and we have done many important questions a very long answer questions and all these things now today i take topic wise i'll take first parabola and do some of the important questions and then i take ellipse and do some of the important questions then i take hyperbola and do some of the important questions in this way let me go through the lessons one by one in each lesson i am going to work out again short answer questions very short answer questions and long answer questions now let us take a parabola and finish all the important questions of parabola so start with parabola here we will take up very short answer questions these carry two marks each we explained you again and again we are again giving you the output and short answer questions four marks each and long answer questions carry seven marks each so this is very short answer questions where you have to write the answer in one or two lines short answer questions it's uh, for four marks and long answer questions let me take up short answer questions of the parabola please we will start with very important questions of short answer questions of the parabola short answer very short answer questions very short answer questions in parabola this is my heading please be ready get ready for your preparation very short answer questions of parabola first question find focus of the parabola find the focus of the parabola y minus 2 whole square is equal to 8 into x minus 3 generally standard curves standard parabola is y square is equal to 4a x but they will not be giving you that they give you the change they shift the vertex of the parabola and give you the answer there are two three ways to answer this please follow carefully find focus of the parabola this is the question this is a very short answer question two marks you have, you need to mention the answer only now yeah, if i put y minus 2 as capital y x minus 3 as capital x this becomes y square is equal to 8x y square is equal to 8x small a is small a is you, you can see because i have written y minus 2 is equal to y x minus 3 is equal to x y square is equal to 8x i shifted my origin to 2 and 3 hk is 2 and 3 that is shifting of origin please i want to give you some explanation on this uh, later on i will do this origin is shifted to so small y is equal to y plus 2 small x is equal to x plus 3 y square is equal to 8x in the place of 4a we have 8 so a is 2 4a is equal to 8 a is 2 once you have 2 the vertex of the parabola is shifted to now vertex is equal to 2 comma 3 2 comma 3 i want focus focus for usual parabola is it is a comma 0 for y square is equal to 4ax 
y square is equal to 4ax, it is a comma 0. See, please look at this. That means your x coordinate is a, your y coordinate is 0. But what is x value? You look here, x value is small x minus 3. Small x minus 3 is 2 and small y minus 2 is, small y minus 2 is 0. If you shift this and calculate for small x and y, the focus is 5 comma 2. The focus is 5 comma 2. The focus is 5 comma 2. Please look at this carefully. The focus is 5 comma 2. I will explain once again. Focus of the, this is not the ordinary parabola. It is not in the standard form. It is in the form of y square is equal to 4ax. But y and x are shifted. y minus 2 whole square is equal to 8 into x minus 3. y minus 2 is y. x minus 3 is x. y square is equal to 8x. a is 2. vertex is 2, 3. Focus is 2, 0. And uh, you have seen all the calculations. The best thing always in all these aspects is your transform. I will tell you some hint. A very good hint. When the equation is not in a standard form when the equation is not in standard form please when the equation is not in the standard form please shift shift your vertex to hk this is a hint express the answer in capital x comma capital y shift your vertex to hk Express the answer to capital X comma capital Y. Shift your vertex to HK. Express the answer to capital X comma capital Y. And then it is better to convert to small x to small y. This is a beautiful hint for you. This is a very good hint for you. Let me show one more example. For example, uh, let me take up another example. Second short answer question is second V sec is very short answer question is find focus of the parabola. I am giving you the same question with a small change. y plus 1 whole square is equal to 4 into x plus 2. Look at this. y plus 1 whole square is equal to 4 into x plus 2. The best thing always is, always take this as y plus 1 is capital Y. x plus 2 is capital X. This changes to y square is equal to 4x. This changes to y square is equal to 4x. For y square is equal to 4x, your small a is 1. y square is equal to 4x, your small a is 1. This gives you, y square is equal to 4x, your small a is 1. Okay, well and good. This gives you focus as a comma 0. That is 1 comma 0. 1 comma 0 for capital X capital Y. That is, you write like this. Capital X capital Y is 1 comma 0. But your capital X is 1. Capital Y is 0. What is capital X? Small x plus 2. Small x plus 2 is 1, small y plus 1 is 0. This gives x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to minus 1. Focus is minus 1 comma minus 1. That means we calculate the values in capital X and capital Y first. We calculate the values in capital X and capital Y first. Then we again change. Why do we change? The reason is given curve is in small x and small y. The given curve is in small x and small y. So, you have to change it finally to small x and small y. Otherwise, you don't get the original answer. So, please remember. This is an easy way. You just shift the curve. You change the curve to standard form and then do the answers. Now, coming back to third short answer question. Please, let us take third short answer question please find the value of k find the value of k if 2x plus 3y minus k is equal to 0 is a tangent to important is a tangent to it is an important question y square is equal to 16x this is given this is an examination previous examination question find the value of k if at Find k if this is a tangent. There are two ways to do this. One is if you have the condition for tangency in mind one way. If you don't have it, suppose if you forget it, what to do? Both the things I will explain you. 
first thing see if this line is a tangent to y square is equal to 16x the condition i'll recall y is equal to mx plus c is a tangent y is equal to mx plus c is a tangent to y square is equal to 16x if y square is equal to 16x if c is equal to a by m this is the condition you can do the problem in one step only if you use this you can do the problem in one step exactly so look at this now if you y is equal to mx plus c is a tangent to y square is equal to 16x if c is equal to a by m i will put this as 3y is equal to minus 2x plus k y is equal to minus 2 by 3x plus k by 3 y is equal to minus 2 by 3x plus k by 3 uh, now what is m m is minus 2 by 3 c is k by 3 a is 16x 4a is 16 a is 4 a is 4 just if you can note down these things your answer is quite easy c is equal to a by m my c is k by 3 my a is 4 my m is minus 2 by 3 so k by 3 is minus 12 by 2 to be to be on the safe side my calculations i am doing a little bit crude way your k is if you further calculate it 2 is minus 6 times k is minus 18 k is minus 18 that is the condition for the line to be a tangent to the given parabola and you should do please this condition you should remember i will recall this condition please make a note of this uh, before going to the fourth question please make a note of this uh, this is important hint important hint make a note in your notes the hint is y is equal to mx plus c is a tangent y is equal to mx plus c is a tangent to y square is equal to 4ax if c is equal to a by m this is a good thing to remember that is why i mentioned it again y is equal to mx plus c is a tangent to y square is equal to 4ax if c is equal to a by m c is equal to a by m Please look at this carefully.